Hello, Evolution RTS fans. For Boating Angel here, I'm going to cast a game that took place between me and Rar um, in the last get together. That was get together number 18. I'll be spawning in the parchment color over here on the left hand side in the middle on Green Comet Basic. Rar's going to be spawning in the top right in the red. And so basically we're just getting our starts here. You can see I'm just going for a sort of standardish uh, six mech start. Um, RAR actually cut his production a bit short. Um, and it's not necessarily a good idea to build your power plants before the factory. Basically, because if you put up your metal extractors then put up your factory, you can be building your first engineer while you're putting up the three basic generators so you can get kites out. So that's just a little uh, preference thing, but uh, it kind of works out a bit. And he also went with the three mech start, which puts him a little bit behind economically. Um, he actually went for an erector first, which is... Uh, 40 metal, so a bit more expensive than if she pushed out a kite, which is 27, so. Um, just slowed down his, uh, beginning economy a little bit, and that actually didn't help. He popped a max, so. There we go. And it looks like I'm building a bunch of kites, and I'm sending them all over the map. Uh, just getting some scouting going on here trying to figure out where he is. And looks like Rar's continuing to build out his economy. He hasn't actually put out any tanks yet and that's kind of a problem considering he's about to have two or more kites in his base. There's one goes to work on the metal extractor and looks like I'm kind of holding off here to get all my troops in, and now they're going for it. Gonna pick up this metal extractor here, and there goes one down. And he does have a crusher out, which should uh, push these back, and he's also putting up turrets. He loses one, not too big of a deal. Uh, the second one will be a bit of a problem. Uh, looks like I'm gonna go for it and try to take it out, but there's two crushers and a turret there not going to happen. Uh, and that's bad control on my part. I should have gotten out of there very quickly seeing those crushers. But, uh, and Rar is going to pick up a good about 30, 30 of metal and energy from the remains of my kites. And looks like I've got an engineer down here in the bottom just going around capturing mexes. Um, Rar is putting up turrets here, there, and everywhere. It doesn't really seem to be getting his economy going too much, but he is putting up storage, and that's important. Because storage will uh, sometimes be the difference between you winning or losing a battle, so that's kind of a big deal. And as you can see, I don't really have any storage going here. I do have uh, six in, uh, basic generators next to this factory, so um, I can get a decent army going out. Right now I'm uh, pumping out some engineers and going to try to get uh, this geothermal generator up here. The 20 supply from that will definitely come in handy as I am pretty hardcore supply block right now. Rar is actually at 36 of 45. I'm at 33 of 50. So. And it looks like we're about to square off. Now he's got all crushers and I have kite and spas tank. Spas tanks were recently buffed, as were all the riot tanks. Um, due to the way that um, no explosive weapons work in spring, the 
in 96 they were changed a little bit, and so the spats became a bit underpowered. I addressed that this week, and now it's definitely, definitely got some punch. Only problem is, if all you have is spats, that's not really going to work out very well for you. So, Rar's pushing me back pretty good here. Um, he looks like he's going to get a turret up here, which will further make it more difficult for me to push forward. He's also going to put up an orb here to help him out. And I move in with my army, freeze uh, several of his crushers, but overcommit. And also his commander is there, so I'm going to lose uh, the vast majority of my army. In fact, I'm going to lose all of my army. And at this point, Rar's going to start uh, pumping down that geothermal. But uh, I'm able to pump out a bunch of tanks here. And his commander is right here, so he is in a little bit of trouble. But take out the turret in the north. And he's got this turret in the back. The orb is repairing his commander. And what he really needs to do is put up a shield, a Kmar, behind this turret. Um, so that that way it can absorb some of the frontal damage. And he's going to go ahead and attack this Geo with some drones. And he's going to get it. And that's going to supply block me fairly badly. 43 over 40. Whereas he's at 60 over 85. So uh, Rar's supply is much higher than mine. Um, however, my income is quite a bit higher. I'm at 13 uh, metal and uh, looks like... Uh, actually, I don't even know. I'm, let's see. Yeah, it looks like 14 metal income for me. And I've now got some Shadow Fury artillery out. They will make short work of these turrets. The only problem is he's got a line of crushers coming in, and that's bad news for me. I have to keep those Shadow Furies alive. They're the only reason that Rar isn't able to push in further. And so my line of crushers here is absolutely crucial. However, looks like Rar's going to overcommit a little bit, and he's going to lose his crushers and to lose a turret here, and an orb. That's no good. His his overseer is going to EMP the vast majority of my army and get the heck out of there. However, it's too late. Overextended. He's going to lose. Now, the overseer can be rebuilt um, by any of the engineers. So he's got plenty of engineers here. Uh, can re be rebuilt for 150 metal. And looks like Rar's up at 34 or 35 energy income. Uh, I am at 25 energy income now. So trailing a bit there, but my metal income is quite a bit higher at rounding up to 13 to 8. So that's quite a big difference. However, Rar can easily catch this up by simply grabbing all these metal extractors here. I am being annoying and pushing in here, in the center, and he does have a line of crushers, however, it's a bit of a tough fight, we've got 76 supply to 78 for me. And as you can see here, I have four orbs which are not assisting the factory, although they might be in a moment the moment I figure out that they haven't been assisting, but uh, currently there are just two engineers assisting this factory. And the Shadow Furies are being very irritating, taking out these metal extractors and any forward turrets that he puts up. There's only two of them, but it is enough to be irritating. He does not have anything uh, helping his factory build, and that may be where I come in. I have, I am collectively have uh, 
seven builders plus the factory on building units. So I can replace my army pretty much as soon as I lose it. We've got 89 supply for VAR to 116 of my supply. Down to 107. And VAR's still holding steady at 90. My supply plummets down to 80. And VAR's is still at 70. Okay, Rars overextending a little bit. He's down to 58 supply to 97 supply for me. See, as I said, I'm able, with this much build power, I'm able to basically rebuild my army as soon as I lose it. And Var is not assisting his factory at all, so his production is quite a bit slowed. He's still at 66 supply to 148, so this is quickly spiraling out of control. Plus, he's getting pummeled by these just two Shadow Furies here that are taking out his turret line. He cannot afford to let this happen. He has plenty of metal. It's just sitting in the bank. It's leaking. Um, so am I, for that matter. Uh, but part of that problem has to do with the fact that I'm supply blocked, and so I can no longer produce any more units. I really need to get another advanced generator out so I can increase my supply, but right now we have 150 supply to 87, and the bar supply is going to go down to 70 really quickly. And I'm holding steady at 147. Bar is also at a disadvantage here because he has put all of his might into crushers and spears, the anti-air tanks. Um, whereas my army is a mix of droplets, spas tanks, crushers, and kites. So, um, anytime you can have a diverse army in Evolution RTS, you should, because it will vastly increase your power. Var overextends here, he's getting flanked, and he's down to 44 supply. I'm up to 161 out of 85, and things are not looking particularly good here for Var. He's down to 22 supply and 164. This is definitely not looking good. He does have a destroyer factory up, and he has plenty of money to be able to spend in it. He's also got the supply available. However, he does not have enough power there to to build them. He does have three builders there, and they could get that power up very quickly, but uh, looks like at the moment he's trying to get some drones. And throwing up some turrets, and unfortunately it looks like this is likely going to be gay. down to 21 supply out of 45 and I'm up at I'm basically max so 198 to 200 and it looks like that's pretty much going to be game this was a fairly short game but uh, while playing it I was actually um, very worried that I was going to lose to the approaching turret line, those Shadow Fury artillery really kind of saved me there. I was in rough shape. So I'm going to push in and pretty much watch all the carnage here. Give my tanks a whole bunch of extra experience. That's A-OK. -okay. There we go. As I said, looks like that's going to be game, so Rar self-destructs and GG's. And so if we look over the stats here, we can see um, my total metal used was 7,162. Rar's was down at uh, 
5,347. And honestly, that's mainly due to the fact that in this area down here in the bottom right, he did not expand there until much later. Um, energy used, uh, I'm up at a staggering 14.4 thousand verse, actually down at uh, 4,857, which is really pretty interesting. Um, <laughs> that basically means my units did a whole lot of shooting. So, uh, let's see, energy produced, RAR was also, uh, quite a bit lower on that. Um, I would say that honestly, uh, his biggest problem was the fact that he didn't focus on economy. Yeah, if he had focused on his economy, he would definitely have, um, been able to push back my forces most likely especially when he had uh, quite a few crushers at the front and I had absolutely nothing that was a pretty scary moment um, that could have easily gone all the way bad <laughs> and not in my favor um, okay and we'll see damage dealt and received 103,000 to 35.9,000 and for the sake of it, units killed, 187 to 132. Anyway, this has been Forboding Angel. It's casting a game from the get-together number 18. Basically, one of the reasons I'm casting this game is A, it was a good game, and B, because unfortunately, I believe Twitch ate my video uh, that I streamed from the event that had this match in it, and... Uh, we had such a good time with this match. I definitely wanted to get it in there. So here we go. Hope you enjoyed it.